Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Clash of Clans where guys we're back on the Town Hall 9 Genesis the account that we started at the beginning of this year 2021 and you can see we've made some pretty great progress today I'll be rocking and rolling with more Queen Charge Hogs I remember last time I mentioned that I would show you guys how to use this attack in this army without the Queen uh, but then the spring up or the uh, fall 2021 update came out and I focused so much on that stuff that uh, my Queen's upgrade finished. So I'll show you guys in a future video. It's coming, don't worry. But yeah, let's attack with the army that I have now. My uh, my <laughs> my storages are actually almost maxed out. So I gotta be careful. But um, yeah, finding an ar a base that is good to attack with this strategy is super easy because this attack strategy is super versatile. You can attack pretty much any base design, you can three star pretty much any Town Hall 9, and you can do very well even against Town Hall 10s. So, and I'm hoping to show you guys that more and more as I, A, get more comfortable with the strategy, because it's been a little while since I've done Town Hall 9 content, and um, also to show you guys multiple examples. So here is a fantastic example. Yeah, that's a, that's a great example. Town Hall 10, Max, I think. Yeah, that's level 40 heroes. Um, same level as, or almost, almost the same level as my other account. My tunnel 13 right now, rush to max, 40-40. Mine are 39-40 in a few days, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, so let's attack this base with the queen. Obviously, the focus is to, um, to take out the enemy queen and the enemy CC. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's attack this up here. This might be a little dicey, because this queen is not, like, super great. But she's not bad. She's not bad. So, let's drop a, a rage. And by the way, people, a lot of people were saying, drop a rage spell. You don't need that many rage spells. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I do because I attack bases I shouldn't be attacking. I'm, I'm hitting bases that are very strong. And uh, I have no... I have no... Um, I, I shouldn't be attacking bases like this. But I am. But I am. And it's, it's good. <laughs> I'm happy to be doing it. But I need the extra rage spells because the queen charge needs to be epic, so, yeah. Level 40 queen! Oh, dang! Oh, dang! Come on, queen, you got this! Oh, I got it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I might need another poison spell. This king is gonna be brutal. Alright, let's poison the, the, the king again. Yeah, 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 there we go. Oh, I forgot I didn't send my, my actual king in. Actually, you know what? I can use my king to funnel. That'll be good. Uh, Alright, so the enemy heroes are dead, and I'm assuming there's no clan castle. Let's just drop down a hog, and I think... I don't think that's going to be close enough to see if there's a clan castle. If there is, hopefully the queen is the one that actually draws it over. This is a very, very long charge, though. So not great. Um, I, I think at this point, if there was CC troops, we would know about it. Let's just double check here. Let's see if maybe the, if the hog goes for the Tesla, then we'll know for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no CC troops. That's awesome. Okay, so, King, uh, why don't you, why don't you get on this corner? I'm gonna get the hogs, I'm gonna send them in like this, I got the CC there. Um, and I'm gonna just kinda watch and wait just a moment. Let's drop a heal right there. What I love about sending the hogs in front of the Queen, by the way, is the hogs take the damage for the Queen, so she stays alive longer. I mean, it's perfect. So, I got one more heal. I gotta be careful about this here. Um, I kind of would like to heal this group of hogs since they're dealing with that wizard tower, but I would love to heal this group of hogs too because they're dealing with the inferno. But I think the queen will survive long enough either way, so we're, we're good probably. Let's send in the wizards, and I've also got some archers that I could probably use fairly, fairly effectively. Um, about that king's ability, I just want to get him ahead. I want these, all of these... Wizards to come toward this dark cloister storage. Although, dang it, there's an expo. Okay, maybe this expo will get busy on this king. Come on, dudes. Let's go. Because all the dark looks are sitting in that storage. Oh, no. Dang it. Okay, that, that I didn't think about that expo whenever I was attacking this base. I was just kind of going for whatever. Um, okay, the other alternative is that this queen distracts this archer tower. And at least I can get this, this drill. Let's pop the queen's ability. Get her through that a little bit quicker. And if I can distract that, oh, it's not going to be quick enough. All right, let's just put the archers down to take out some of that dark elixir from that drill. Wow, that was brutal, bro. That was, I mean, that's a max down all 10. I'm a town hall 7. No, 9. Jeez, why did I, I think I saw the number 7. Yeah, I got 70%. That's what I was thinking about. I just just at 70% overall destruction. But uh, yeah, town hall 9, 70%. I would have done better if I had more time, I think. Um, but that's, that it's not how the game operates. And we got a lot of loot. 725,000 gold. Can't complain. 4,000 dark elixir. 
I've almost maxed out my storages, so I should probably go ahead and spend some of that loot. So also what I love about this attack is you always win, so you, you, you gain trophies, which is never a bad thing for a Town Hall 9. Let's go ahead and request for CC troops. I have no king, but I do have a queen. So the next raid should go fairly swimmingly if you if I if I do hopefully hopefully I'm predicting correctly. <laughs> so let's go to the progress base and spend some gold. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be upgrading. So maybe I can do the storage again. 250,000 gold really doesn't help me. Here, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Uh 7.1 is my maximum, so I'm 200 under, so yeah, that's not gonna help me much. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this elixir storage anyway, just because I need to. All right, that, that spends a little bit of loot, and I can actually dump some more loot into walls. So I'm just gonna do a million into walls. That'll do. Okay, so let's go do another one. Uh, let's see if somebody wants to send me some Klein Castle troops. I'm gonna go over to Builder Base and uh, do some upgrades, because I got some free loot from Season Pass and stuff like that. So, what shall I upgrade? First of all, let me see. Yep, I've done everything I need to do right now with the Star Lab. I can, I can afford a Battle Machine upgrade. That's amazing, which means I need to spend my gold on walls, I guess. Yeah, let's just do the cheapest walls that I can find. They're 25,000. Oh, that's a mine. My bad. Did I just upgrade a mine? I didn't mean to. I meant to, I'm trying to just do walls. Um, thank you, W. Parker, for the hog riders. I knew he was online, so I kind of figured he would throw in some hogs. Thank you. W. Parker is the best. We need to get some love for W. Parker down below in the comments. Please and thank you. All right, so let's upgrade some walls. Uh, why is my... Oh, dang it. Okay. Yep, I upgraded a mine, and I have to wait an hour. That's unfortunate. Uh, fortunately, this boost will be done in 24 minutes, and I think it's a 24x speed. Or something. So, yeah, the mine should be done soon. And I can do the battle machine upgrade. Yeah. Okay, so I got the hogs. I got no king. I can handle this without the king. So let's go ahead and try to find another base with a load of um, of Dark Elixir. This, this, this is a serious business here. I don't know how much I need to do both heroes. I think it's out of my reach today. I think it's like 87,000 Dark Elixir to do both. Um, so as long as I get enough to do one... I think I've got enough to do one, then I'm okay. <laughs> but obviously it's best to do both at the same time. That's the most efficient way to do it. So let's try to find a base with a decent, actually no. Let's try to find a base with a fantastic amount of Dark Elixir. 4,500 Dark Elixir from a Town Hall 9 is actually really good. And I kind of want a three star base for you guys. I don't want to attack no Town Hall 10s this time. So let's do this. The sweepers both pointing up is really nice because it gives me an obvious entry point. And uh, because the CC and the queen are close together, it makes it really easy for my queen charge to take care of them both. Problem will be actually getting a... No, okay, here's how I'll do this. I don't want to break through multiple walls. I just want to break through one if I can help it. And so what I'll do is start the queen out here. And it doesn't matter which way she goes. If she goes right, that'd be great. If she goes left, whatever. Um, actually, you know what? If I can influence her, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to send her to the right because the queen is on the right. So that'd be that'd be better. So queen, if you could uh, step up, go to the right. Just that'd be great. And then I'm going to break her through this section here. Uh, normally, I'd drop the king there and send them both in together, but I don't have the king because he's still waking up from the last one. He's exhausted. Okay, he worked too hard in the last raid. So uh, there we go. Let's drop a wall breaker. It should take. Wow, only one. That was. Unexpected. I've got a uh, lots of wall breakers still. Um, so yeah, let's go and drop a wizard out here. I just want to keep the queen focused on what's important. <laughs> what is important right now is getting inside the base, not hanging out around the rim. So let's drop a few wall breakers right over there. Kind of pull out some traps or whatever. And there you go. We have a, an air defense and an enemy clan castle. So not great. Let's pop the queen's ability early. I want to make sure that we heal or keep our healers alive. Uh, and the queen can handle the enemy heroes as long as uh, I have a poison on them. So poison them both. Hopefully she can handle all this. And uh, now we need to get the hogs in there because I feel like it's taking too long. CC, we can send them up the corner and we'll get a couple of uh, lovely um, archers on the corners as well. So we're looking pretty good. I've got one more heal. So I gotta be very careful about where I use that heal. Likely in the core. Because um, you want to keep your hogs alive as long as possible. So, uh, 
healing early is usually the best bet. Sometimes healing a little later is better too. Just depends on the base design and, and uh, the strength of the base. So my queen unfortunately died. I think that was because I ran her into like two max expos and a bunch of other stuff. And she was dealing with uh, an entire crescent of defenses she had broken in through. So she's getting hit by too much at once. But um, the healers actually came over and healed up my hogs, which is kind of nice. Um, if the hogs would, dang it, get away from the... When the bomb tower is about to blow up, hogs, you gotta get out of there. You can't stick around. Uh, they're not they are not the most intelligent hogs, that's for sure. Did you know that hogs, or pigs, they're like the most intelligent animal? Just, just a heads up. Pretty cool. Um, Alright, so... I'm just gonna get my archers in there to help clean up. We may run out of time, but I think with this setup, I'll at least get all the dark elixir out of the drills. We may or may not get that town hall. I think 30 seconds is too much for 17% with such a small number of troops. But um, but yeah, so we cleared the entire base. And again, with enough time, this would have been an easy three star. I'm, I'm counting it off as a non three star, but you never know, you never know. Something may show up and surprise me. These hogs are better than I give them credit for. So I might actually get a two star here. That's surprising. Look at this, these hogs are gonna come over here. They'll work together and that town hall will go down in time. Yes, but I won't get the builder huts on the side. So that's awesome. I got a, I got a two star, 98%, not too bad and uh, a, a pretty good amount of Dark Elixir, as I was hoping to find. So, there you go. Hog Riders and Queen Charge combined is the magic combination. I love it. And if I had my King in that attack, clearly it would have been a three-star. So, all right. Now, let's upgrade uh, the Queen. It's 44,000 Dark Elixir to upgrade the King. He's 43,000, so you add those together. That is 87,000 Dark Elixir. I only have 76. I'm a little short. That's unfortunate. Can I get any free Dark Elixir from here? I could, but I don't have enough points yet. That's sad. So, Queen level 22. 3D upgrade 44,000 Dark Elixir. There you go. Now, uh, let's look at the laboratory. Now, you guys have been... Um, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me think about, for, let me think about this for a second. So, if I'm using a Queen Charge Hogs, I'm using Wizards for cleanup. I've already got my healers maxed out. I've got my hog riders maxed out. Uh, I really don't need to do anything else. The poison spell would be good, but not it's not essential. I think I should upgrade these baby dragons because you guys keep saying they're amazing. So I'm going to upgrade these baby dragons. Uh, to point, and upgrading the wizards really isn't that big of a deal. They're almost always used for cleanup or funneling. That would be good if they did a little bit more damage, but they do a lot already. And a 7% and a or 8% increase in DPS won't really make a difference because they do shoot very slowly. So each shot does a lot of power. So, I'm going to upgrade these baby dragons for the fun of it. Let's do this. 2.5 million elixir, three-day upgrade. So, that means that and the queen are going to be finishing on the same day. That's pretty convenient for me and filming. Now, let's do elixir upgrades. Are there any more elixir upgrades? There's a gold mine. There's that gold storage. I could upgrade this gold storage. That'd probably be smart. And level 11 is maxed out. So, that means that this gold storage will be done. That's awesome. Let's do it. Bam! Nice. Alright, so gold storage is done. That's the the last major elixir upgrade. I mean, we do have one more besides stuff in the laboratory that is uh, otherwise known as the gold mine. <laughs> uh, and that one goes to, I think, level 12. This is confirmed. Yep. So, why not do it? I'm, I'm just getting all the elixir upgrades out of the way, so there you go. That one's, that one's happening, too. Uh, so that means that I've got one builder left and a load of gold. So what should I do with that? I've been working on the sweeper. The sweeper's key. It really is. I hate the sweeper. It's my. I think it might might be my least favorite defense, but it's also like one of the best. So I'm gonna upgrade the sweeper. 1.5 million gold, uh, which means I can dump quite a bit into my walls. Each one's half a million. So let's just chunk that up. Let's see what this does. Four million. That's perfect. That's the perfect number. That's what I wanted right there. I wasn't counting or anything, so got lucky. So, Air Sweeper, one day upgrade, 1.5 million gold. There you go. Now, obviously, I'm saving Elixir for armies, but also for future videos. And uh, what level is max for Sweepers? I always forget. Level 5. Okay, so we got one more level, and then the Sweeper will be done. I should probably reorganize this. This is looking kind of nasty. <laughs> I'll reorganize that off camera, guys. Um, but there you go. That is our Tunnel on Let's Play episode. Getting it done. Every upgrade for the heroes is is very important. You get 50 total at Town Hall 9, so it helps. 
And uh, yeah, 23 uh, king. We'll have a level 22 queen in three days. And I'll continue to be farming Dark Elixir. And many of you guys will probably think, wait a minute, why are you farming Dark Elixir with hogs? Don't they cost Dark Elixir? Yes, but I also want to gain trophies. Because I haven't been super successful at gaining trophies. So, uh, an, an attack strategy that I can show off because it's fun. And teach you guys something new if you haven't seen it before. And gaining some trophies and, and destroying bases, that's almost more important to me because I do my efficiency farming a lot of the times like Goblin Knife or Barch or whatever off camera. So just to, you know, just to insight into the logistics of <laughs> content creation. Uh, guys, that's all for me. Like the video if you, if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget that the new creator code is now super easy to access. You just go into your shop, click that little white C at the top right hand side of your screen and type in Klaus. Hit that send that code button and now you have that green check over that white sea. If you have that green check, you're good to go. Be sure and support your favorite content creator with your in-game purchases if you make any. If you don't, then it doesn't matter whether or not you put in the code. I appreciate it either way, but it doesn't benefit either one of us. Uh, it's just a warm, fuzzy feeling, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, if that green check is there, you're good. If that green check disappears, that means that code expired. Be sure and uh, put a new code in before you buy something. That's right. All right, guys, so that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.